BOT has been quite hot garbage recently and it's very hard to use. Like my waifu, I got Kafka C3. I barely use Kafka anymore recently and the only reason I can ever use Kafka right now is because she still has technically a follow-up attack in her kit. <laughs> it's follow-up and super break meta right now and I don't see DOT ever coming back soon mainly because we are in a meta of breaking bars. Yep, we are just trying to reduce the enemy's toughness bar as fast as we possibly can and the best way is super break and second ironically is Fallout Attack. Fallout Attack actually reduces quite fast, especially after Facial just came out. And maybe Aceron. Aceron's like alright, but probably not the best right now. Now people are like arguing Aceron or Facial is like the best unit right now. I would say like it's quite even, but I think I'll prefer Facial for now. So anyway, let's take a look. Why do I feel that DOT is the most underwhelming team in Tonky Stubbers right now? Based on what we have right now. So let's take the facts. I want to first talk about what we have as of this current moment. No one likes Jiao Chiu. I mean Jiao Chiu is quite ugly. <laughs> Sorry, I just hate furries. So the art type we have for DOT as this current moment, usually it is currently basically limited to Kaka Black Swan. Uh, we still have one of Huang Huang. Alright, this is the best as well DOT sustained currently. And for I mean, I feel like Hoho is not even just just for DLT. It's just that like it's the best one for DLT. Like if we ever had like a DLT sustain, it will immediately replace her, bro. <laughs> oh wait, I should go full screen. My bad, guys. Either do a toss up between Rane or Robin. But isn't the team like Kafka, Black Swan, and Aceron? Isn't it always these three together? Uh, me personally, I found you know greater success with Robin, especially with the triple action value advance. It was very very comfortable, better than Rame. Uh, but they wouldn't I change mean... too much, right? So that is usually the quote unquote best of the duty because this current moment. They did release Jiao Chiu, but at E zero Jiao Chiu, uh, the damage coming from this is just way too. The damage coming from this is just, is just way too low, and I wouldn't mm, replace feels bad. Robin or Rame. Or Feels bad. Me personally. Would I use Xiao Chiu to replace Black Swan and Kafka? I also wouldn't do that. But it could depend on the enemy weakness. So if the enemy is like resistant to win. I mean the only one that can like uh, reduce any toughness type is Aceron. So yeah. And they have a fire week. I, I can't force this scenario where we can still run Kafka with Xiao Chiu. I think it's still not too bad. I think it's still possible. Uh, but that is generally sort of like the, the gist that we have in our current DOT setup, right? I'm talking about like pure E0 setup, so we're just gonna ignore all the E2 and E1 investments. Yeah, the teams are ass right now. Even if you're like talking about Sample or uh, Luca, right? Luca, man, I really want Luca to be useful, but ah, Luca's one of my favorite design characters in the game, but it's so hard to use him. It's like he's, he's not even good in the DOT team. He's like his own thing. Like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> and who else is there? Like the four stars. Uh, Gwenefer, uh got outscaled by uh, Jiao Chiu. I can't really rem remember anyone else. Uh, purely from a baseline setup perspective, here's a fact for DOT. It's a little bit unfortunate that Mihoyo has not given us any form of additional support. I mean, technically, Kafka is a support DPS. <laughs> he's, she's the one, but it's like, it's a uh, anti-support because it's like the other DPSs buff her instead of her buffing everyone else. I don't think we've gotten a DOT support patch ever since we got the prisoner set. Alright, nothing really changed that much because to be completely fair, this, this Glamov set, it is not that crazy. As of this day and age, when you have like fucking defense down, crit value, um, this Glamov 2 piece is not too crazy anymore. This 4 piece prisoner is definitely still really, really good, but we do need some. Oh, he's talking about like the artifacts are ass right now. <laughs> get, like, a better two piece in the future. I mean, um, I agree with him. Good. But perhaps one of, if not the most important aspect as to why I think DOT is very underwhelming, you can't is break because of the environment. Yeah, right now it's the ass. So, what? Am I talking about right here? Let me lower this up a little bit. It's a Chinese. Oh, he plays in China. So, of course, we have the environmental buffs for Memory of Chaos. Sometimes they give us this, you know, this DOT buffs. It will definitely improve our deal damage if this is specifically tied to DOT. So it's going to be great. 
But beyond the memory of chaos buffs, there's one more thing which I think it will severely, severely, severely cripple DOT. I think for this buff, oh wait, wait, this buff is specifically no. for like uh, erudition patch, right? You have to hit multiple times. Actually, the Kafka, Black Swan, and Aceron team can reach this amount of attacks within a turn. But it's going to be pretty hard because Kafka still has a fallout attack. Which counts as two attacks, but I mean like, uh, it's so hard. Yeah, this is not definitely not the buff for them. There's one more thing which I think it will severely, severely, severely cripple DOT. The enemy, or more specifically, the enemy speed. Now, if you guys have played the later story. Yep. Too late. I'm not sure if you guys know this. No, he's fast as shit. Too yeah. late has one of, if not the fastest speed right now in Hong Kong Star Wars. I'm not sure the exact number, but I'm pretty damn sure it's more than 200 speed. Beating our previous record of the King Shadows of 191, if I'm not mistaken, uh, it is ridiculously fast. Okay. And not just Hu Lei, we also even have mobs such as. The Howling Casket, which goes into this arm. Uh... Yeah, the, the game is getting faster. Actually, like all the new teams, your your team has to have at least like 135 speed, right? Like even the Super Break team. Rage, Moon Rage, and it increases his speed as well. Enemies that become faster and faster, it will be kind of worse for DOT. You might think it's good, right? You might think it's good because the faster the enemies moves. No, you gotta stack. That means you gotta stack the them. more frequently they can take damage from DOT. But it is bad. Because the mechanic for this yeah, is yeah. not just for them to take turns. Yeah, it okay, yeah, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. On our DOTs. Specifically, Black Swords Arcana. Wait. You want to compare E0 to the E0 Black I just realized I'm blocking his damn face. <laughs> Wait, we're halfway through the video, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm blocking your magnificent face, my dude. <laughs> on Arcana and Max, that is infinitely more damaging compared to a Jiao Chou Bird, right? So you also want to have an ability to generate the baseline before the enemy moves. True. So they can do damage. Like if your enemy moves but you only got like what, 2 or 3 stacks of Arcana versus like 18 or 20 stacks. The difference is, it's absolutely insane. So, if the enemies start to... And it's actually quite crazy as well because the DOT team itself actually, you would, at, at that time, like last year, it was actually like the fastest team because everyone was at least like 130, like 120 plus, right? But right now the Super Break team, I think everyone's at least 135, 140, at least my team. <laughs> faster and faster, right? We've really seen this from the the Wu, the, the machine Wu, as well as Wu Lei. It will become increasingly difficult for Black Swan specifically to stack on the Arcana stacks. And then it makes it also more difficult for our Kafka to trigger set DOT. Not just black swan. Because usually if the enemies are slow, it means that if your Kafka can outspeed the enemy, your Kafka can trigger DOT like maybe more, more than one thing. Right? Yep. But if the enemies are too fast, all these are thrown out of the window. And that will be quite difficult for DOT to come up a way to kind of quote unquote neutralize this problem. Two ways. Either you yourself become faster, uh, or you have a way to make the, the DOT stay there either permanently or for even a longer amount of time, right? A way for us to trigger and build up this DOT, which kind of brings me to the unfortunate truth about the landscape that we're getting. Based on the past couple of DPS, since Aircron, Face Shell, Firefly, I don't know what Rapper is going to be, 3.x DPS, a lot of these new um, archetypes that we have for this you know, quote unquote, new version of, of damage dealers yep they are quite self-sufficient for the most part all right oh, oh i get what you mean uh as long as you give her the debuffs where's the as long as you give everyone the debuffs oh my god she's naked okay but yeah. it's not really that bad if the enemies move too fast because the debuffs will be applied and you get smash <laughs> and she's gonna do big pp damage huh Firefly, Super Break, uh, I don't really think we need to expand too much. Super Break is just Super Break. It's just ridiculously diabolical, so we don't really need to I mean, I don't really know what it means by self-sufficient. I mean, you don't need other supports. Not that much. And then Face Shop, as you guys have seen right now, the performance with her, Robin, Tobias, and Ventry, it's just absolutely insane. And even without Robin, even without Ventry, uh, her personal damage is just so strong. Is to the point where she can still. Okay, I, I will agree that Face, face Shop is the one that's self-sufficient. He dispatched the enemies. 
very very quickly right so these are like our new dps now ask yourself this as a player entering into the community starbucks right now would you rather just invest in this quote unquote new versions of dps or would you rather pull for either multiple dot units or if you have existing dot units pulling for their items to make them keep up oh i got more idolons than him oh shit i have c3 <laughs> I mean E3. I have E3, Kafka. Oh shit, he doesn't even have E3. <laughs> oh, no. Am I better than Poki? I'm just capping, I'm just capping. <laughs> so this is where the answer becomes quite clear. That DOT, it is a little bit underwhelming. Because not only do you need the investments, maybe for the items to even keep up, but there is also a chance that even with said investments, you could not specifically target the environment that we are heading towards in the future with who lay the wolf and the enemies getting faster and faster and faster right uh there was this one enemy that was very very good for duty which was the memory zone meme right the meme the little oh H, yeah H, yeah H, the H pops. But unfortunately, Wait, i think this is the only one actually <laughs> it was a mechanic that was easily uh skipped even if you don't use duty because the fight is you can so defeat it with super break these days bro so we really have not had an environment or like specifically an enemy mob okay. that makes dot shine whereas every other team comp we have gotten supports in terms of relics in terms of new units in terms of the bar i mean like i said the the quote unquote support is technically kafka like i would say kafka counts as a support sort of like jade right jade is like a support dps debuffs uh the moc blessings and the art type of how damage is you know performed in general it has favored a lot in our recent 2.x dps art types i'm talking about phase out aircon 5 right, specifically right mm. all right so this is why i think dot as of this day and age it is pretty underwhelming now there's no point to me yapping about this uh what is the fix though e6 kafka <laughs> what is the fix this is also another problem which I think it's a little bit hard to. I feel like, I feel like Sparkle's good on the DLT team. I I, I don't know about Robin. Robin they specifically made it for follow up, right? I feel like Sparkle was one of the like the DLT like supports that they wanted. Even though like uh, you can say Run Me, but I think Run Me right now is on a super break team f for the better, right? I think Sparkle was one of the better ones because you could re, you can follow up. Uh, what, what am I saying? You can advance forward your Kafka or any other character on your team. Uh, maybe... I don't know. I don't know, man. Quote unquote, balance out or make DOT catch up. Because your sustain slot and your support slot, usually they are kind of fixed. Right? When, when team white energy attack buffs, she's always going to be pretty good. Run may or Robin, wait, wait, team white buffs, grass pen, uh, additional attack, extra turn, they're always going to be very, very good. No. The only thing I can kind of foresee them drastically, right, drastically improving the entire DOT archetype as well is introducing another variant of DOT such as Jiao Chou's Burn. But it has a multiplier that is not as shit as, uh, what, 180%. Unless you get his E2, right? We need some kind of a, of a DOT unit that can act like a Black Swan. Because Black Swan has her own debuffs right she has a defense down the vulnerability and you get the e1 is going to be a rare shred on top of having absolutely diabolical multipliers on duty so we need something like a black sword if we have something like a black sword she can fit into slot tree so we can stack on black swan the new dot and kafka will trigger everything this will make it oh, very very nice true right, that's one we can go about it okay you have to have a new DOT that doesn't care about the toughness type of the enemy. That's the trajectory of the game that's going right now. <laughs> or a support that strictly makes DOT a lot better. Healer as well. What is something that could be done? An example. There is this unit in Genshin Impact called Custom. There is this unit in Genshin Impact called Nahida, right? Oh. Apparently, her C2, she could make DOT crit. And we have this exact blessing in Divergent Universe and Civil Universe. DOTs can crit. So if we can somehow get a, a support that oh. is super dedicated for DOT, 
Oh, DLT doesn't crit? Oh yeah, you, that's why they like, tell you to build attack, no, right? No, I'm not saying crit is the only way, but a way to greatly yeah, amplify DLT and DLT specifically, either through the build up rate to like, like fucking annoying. Well, you want the new DLT to become Bloom? <laughs> uh, the multipliers from like every single DLT, how frequently can we trigger this DLT? Or a way for the DOT to just stay on the enemy for longer, right? Maybe you make them uncleansable, maybe you make them last for one more turn. To kind of mm -hmm. counteract the fact that enemies are going faster. So we have a support like this, even if the support doesn't deal any DOT itself, I think it is still okay, right? So that is going to be another way that we can make DOT create again. One last way, and I hate to say this one last way, uh, a better version of Hoya Hoya. Hoya Hoya, right? She has energy regeneration, she has attack. It's pretty good, she has cleanse. But we can still take oh wait is the reason why hoho's good on dot is because she specifically raises attack yeah oh wait yeah that's true oh i didn't think of it that way that i used to think she was shit because she only like buff attack percentage and not like crit oh no wonder they say she's like on a dot team oh, okay. this uh, is step further i don't watch any guides okay and i don't have for <laughs> if the sustain can also apply some kind of dot slash buffs or debuffs. An excellent example, I think a Ventry is is really really like the he is him for full up. Yep. He is absolutely him because not only does he have the sustain, he has the crit damage vulnerability from the uh, ultimate sources. He has a lot of follow up. <laughs> the chest had made DOT great again. A what is this? <laughs> from his talent. Which means it will synergize with our team very very frequently. Yeah. On top of being very skill point positive. Where where, you know, energy is good. Um uh, the tab buff is good. But number one, she's not that skill point positive unless you get the E1. Unless you get the E1. Uh number two, the this talent specifically, it doesn't really it's not a talent built for DOT. You get what I'm saying? I mean, like, sure, dispel I mean, is good, but this is a very general Hey, hold up, dispel is so good, man. I love dispel. Okay. They can kinda of work everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, but if we have some, maybe if we can have a sustain like a talent that could make DOT become amplified all around, take it to the next level, then it would pretty much swap over to to OMS kick. It will be able to outperform quite well, right? So those are some of the ways that we can we can make DOT uh, great again, if I can say so myself. Hmm. Overall. There are also some other contenders as to who is the you know, most undervalued or rather most underwhelming team of. I have a couple of my wife. Uh, one is Mono Quantum. Mono Quantum, uh... I would say, it is a very comfortable team. So I don't really think they're underwhelming in the, in the sense. Do people of... actually use Mono Quantum though? I thought it was just a meme team. Do people actually use it like uh, for real, like for like the memory of chaos? I, <laughs> I feel like the most underwhelming team right now is the Jing Liu team. To be honest, Jing Liu like it's so hard to use Jing Liu right now. Like, I still have more fun playing DLT in my opinion. In my, uh, I think Jing Liu like is you say it's part of like the hyper carry comp. Even like Dan Heng's like more fun to play. Okay, but even now like March seven, the new March seven, the Han is here. In, that one actually buffs Dunheng. I've been using her with Dunheng a lot. And it's been quite fun. So oh, yeah, maybe DLT is the uh, most outdated uh, team comp. Even though Jiao Chiu just came. <laughs> Wait, he didn't actually address my point at the beginning of the video. Which is, you can't uh, destroy the enemy's toughness bar fast enough with DLT right now. I even though like you can technically use Run Mei. But it, does it just doesn't feel good. Like, if, like with Firefly, you can like cut the enemy's toughness bar in half in a lot of cases even the bosses i think that's the main reason oh well, yeah this is a really good video you should go check him out i, I think you guys know Bucky already he's like, like one of the best star rail experts yeah see you guys next time like and subscribe